my name is Sandra Schoenner and this is my husband Jason and this is our coffee shop called Bean Bar in East Village City. I think the main thing we wanted to achieve was a place for people to come and feel like they're part of a community and a neighborhood. I grew up in Germany and one of the main things we did in the afternoons was have coffee and cake and you always make time with your friends or your family to have coffee and cake. Um, and it just hopefully is a space for people to slow down and take that little moment out of their day to appreciate a good quality product and each other and our families and friends and have this place be a little bit of a reminder that it's okay to slow down. Um, so we decided to go up to the northwest to choose our roaster because we're accustomed to that kind of coffee. So we took a road trip from here, San Diego, all the way up to Vancouver, British Columbia. A cup of coffee all along the west coast. And just decided to choose Four Nights Parallel out of Vancouver, Canada, who thought their coffee and then those people were just amazing. It just felt like family, like just being welcomed. And that's exactly what we want from our cafe, right? Is for people to come in and just feel like here's a space for them. And they've been roasting since 2004 and almost exclusively have done direct trade, which is amazing because then you're supporting farmers as well. I think the consistency is always right on. Um, it's all light roasted, so we generally like fruity, brighter, sweet coffees. That's what 49th has aimed to excel in. Well, most of the coffees that we set, if it's espresso based, end up having milk in it, right? So then if a huge percentage of your business requires milk, and you use a milk that doesn't have a high quality standard, it doesn't really matter the whole product up until that point, right? Because if you finish it off, whether on the barista side of not pulling a proper shot or properly steaming milk or anything like that, then what's the point of everything that has led up to there? Using a high quality milk and properly being able to steam it, pour latte art with it, and having it not take away from the taste of the coffee is incredibly important. <laughs> I think originally we hated alternative milk, yes. but um, we were like so hardcore about drinking just whole milk because we thought it tasted the best. Um, but switching now, we, all we drink is alternative milks, so I think they can taste just as good as milk with espresso. Uh, and then when we tried Milk Lab for the first time, we were both really impressed that the flavor of the espresso still really comes through. It steams very nicely. You can still pour latte art with it. We can still give the same product to our customer with Milk Lab as we would do with oat milk or regular milk. And we have really experienced that with other almond milk brands. So we're really excited about Milk Lab in particular. 